What's up guys, my name is Luke Jackson Clark, a recently appointed Snapdragon ambassador, and I'm gonna be taking you guys on a trip with the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra and two of my best mates around Portugal. We have five fun-fueled days to explore and enjoy every inch of the Portuguese coast known as the Algarve. From tram rides in the bustling streets of Lisboa to skimboarding along one of Europe's most beloved beach havens, we have one hell of a ride for you. All while sharing some of my knowledge about shooting on this powerhouse of a phone juiced up with a Snapdragon 888 chipset. Things started back home in the UK where Keenan and I travelled to the airport and flew to meet Mike in Lisbon, where we picked up our trusty camper and jumped on the road for a night in our new home just a short walk away from Ursa Beach, our first location for day one. Arrived at location one, but we're a bit late. Yo, so this is day one, location one, sunrise one, and shoot one. Whenever I'm at a location, I make sure to use depth, scale, and context to tell a gripping story. As you can see here, I'm getting nice and low to the ground on the beach to capture depthy shots of the tide flowing up the sand, providing a nice lead to the subject, the famous Ursa Beach Rock. Once we had got these first images, we walked along the beach to try and find new angles. I asked Keenan to stand at a spot in between me and the rock to provide scale, showing the size of the environment around us. Once I have my hero shots of a location, I make sure to capture extra images of the area to tell more of a story, getting different perspectives, taking a detail image, shots of the journey, and maybe shots of people. Lagos. This is the first Airbnb of the trip. Good morning. Good day. Two. Despite the day starting with the worst weather ever, this morning resulted in some of the best shots of the trip. So the first tip for day two is to never give up on a shoot plan just because of the weather as you might get lucky. Things remained pretty grey as the sun rose, which resulted in some powerful looking ominous clouds. Okay, so the main reason I chose this beach was for this staircase right here. This allows for leading lines, which is really important, especially in conditions like this when we don't really have the conditions or sunshine we want. We need to rely on other things to create dynamics in our images. I'm gonna ask Keenan to walk down to the beach to create scale. And then we've got the leading line of the stairs creating, as I said, a nice lead for the image, leading people's eyes to Keenan and the beach and the beautiful view. Okay, so it's morning of day three and there's thunderstorms. <laughs> and the plan today is to head out a bit later in the day instead of getting a sunrise, it's currently 6 a.m. to get some like action photography. We're gonna go surfing and skimboarding and we're gonna use the phone because it's waterproof to shoot some pretty good content. The one downside of DSLR or mirrorless cameras is the lack of waterproofing. That's where the phone comes in handy. This next sequence was all shot on the Xiaomi using 8K HDR 10 plus mode made possible with the powerful Snapdragon 888 chipset. So we just finished off with the shoot on the beach, which ended up to be really good fun. We had about two hours in the water. We've uh, on our way back now, about to drive back and get some food and then finish the day. 
So we are at sunrise spot for day five. This is Mike's last day. <laughs> and now we're heading to Marina Beach where we're gonna get a shot from the cliff looking down on the beach. It's gonna be really cool. Okay, so the plan this morning is to focus on the 50 megapixel mode, which is obviously very, very high quality. And I'm gonna get Keenan to walk down to the beach and stand by the water to create scale and show how big the stacks and just the overall beaches around and get it in ultra high quality definition. Let's do this. If you swipe left to pro mode, you can select the number 50 on the top of the screen, which uses the wide angle 50 megapixel sensor to take an ultra high quality shot, allowing you to really capture every detail. Okay, so the second and final location of the day today is another beach. But boy, is it a cool beach. Let me show you around. So as you can see, we got super lucky at this location today, which is awesome because it's pretty much the only luck we've had all trip. Uh, but at this location, I'm gonna be showing you and teaching you about depth and the different lenses that the Xiaomi Mi 11 Ultra has. We have a telephoto five times zoom at 48 megapixel, a wide angle at 50 megapixel, and an ultra wide at 48 megapixel. So I'm gonna be running through them right now and kind of giving you some shots, some examples, and then showing you the multi-camera feature. Let's do this. I thought I might start by showing you a comparison between the three focal length choices. Feel free to pause the video to take a closer look. Adding depth is an artistic choice, but can be used to balance images, create a soft frame, and also highlight subject focus. If you're only just getting into photography or simply haven't seen the difference in using lenses with different focal lengths, the multi-camera feature on the Mi 11 Ultra is awesome. The Snapdragon 888 chip with its triple ISP allows users to see six different focal lengths on the screen at the same time filming up to three 4K HDR video streams all at once. So we got the shots. The location was incredible. The sun has set and now it's time to head back to Lisbon for one more day here in Portugal and then we're wrapped. We finished off our time in Portugal with a quick breakfast in Lisbon before flying home. We made sure to take a few extra images here to show you how a small difference in perspective can make a massive difference to your end product. All these shots were taken on the same street. Okay, that's the end of the video. Thanks so much for watching guys. It's been an awesome journey. We're currently wrapping up here in Lisbon in our balcony view of the city. Um, I hope you learned something in this video. This phone has massively exceeded my expectations and it's nice to know that all your phone photography needs are backed up by the Snapdragon 888 chip. Uh, it's time to head home and we'll see you in the next one. Looking forward to it.